Um, hello, this is Havoc Legion. Um, right now you're watching our new live stream, uh, Havoc Hour, and today for our topics, we're going to be going over the new shirt I have on currently, uh, Production Super Saturday Match, the Junior Shooter Clinic at Fort Benning, and one more thing. Or is that it? The production, we're doing doing production Super Saturday match that they did at Wyoming Animal Club. We're also going to do the production uh, practice match they had mm, that's right what after was. the competition. So, I'm Chris. I'm the father. There's also Heather, who is currently asleep because it's now a school night. And then this is Peter. He's going to introduce himself real quick. Um, hello, my name is Peter. I shoot a Glock 34. I shoot production USPSA. And I am a D-class shooter. I shoot a Wyoming Antelope Club most of the time. I have traveled uh, to other places to shoot, like Miami. I shot a classifier match there. We also shoot GSSF and Steel Challenge, but mainly USPSA. I'll let my dad introduce himself, and we'll get on. And I'm Chris. I'm a dad. Peter's my son. We go shoot USPSA, like you said. I shoot a SIG 320 full-size and 9mm. I'm a C-class shooter, and I also will adopt a Glock to shoot GSSF every once in a while, and then we do Steel Challenge pretty regularly also over at uh, Wyoming Antelope Club. Peter is a uh, Wyoming Antelope Club junior shooter over there. It's fine. This weekend, we want to encourage any anyone with kids that are looking to get into action pistol, um, get a little bit more familiar with running and gunning. It's not a new shooter class. But it's definitely a great class to bring someone who's uh, that doesn't shoot USPSA. Underage, that doesn't shoot USPSA because they're going to take the juniors and and slow it down. Why don't you give them a quick uh, synopsis of exactly some of the things that you've done in, in the junior class, real quick? Um, if you've been shooting USPSA for quite a while, like me, you would probably go on with some other people. Uh, and you do drills like running and gunning, mag changing, looking where you're going to plant. A, a lot of pretty advanced stuff, but it's easy enough to get you practice. If you're new to it, kind of like my sister is, you will probably be going along with a different group, usually led by Mr. Simon Lee. He is a very good teacher. He taught me my first time. And you'll do things like shooting the plate rack, if you don't, the steel plate rack, and a lot of just bang. It's not bang 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 and then you start running off to the next situation it's really getting you focused on what's gonna happen how you're gonna have to shoot it's a very different than a standing still range I'll tell you that so if you're really looking forward to trying to shoot this and you are underage or not, never shoot it before and under underage you might want to check out the junior shooter class it's a very nice class I like going there and is it this Saturday or next Saturday it's this Saturday this Saturday and it starts at nine o'clock I suggest people get there early, kind of get acquainted to it. It's all the way in the backside in the action bays. Um, like Peter was talking about, it, they'll separate the experienced shooters to the not-so-experienced shooters. And Peter usually goes off with the more experienced shooters. I stay back with uh, my daughter because she's just starting now. She's just got her new uh, SIG 320, which you can actually see in, in uh, her other our other videos where we actually presented it to her, which is super cool for her. Um, but they get the... The new experience, new but experienced shooters used to drawing from holster, sighting in, you know, bring it down from seven yards all the way down to 25 yards or, or some kind of little drills, little uh, uh, marksmanship drills, which are really good. So if you guys are looking to get your kids involved in this sport, come on out. It's also the same exact time that Wyoming Antelope Club does a intro to action shooting class. That class starts at the same exact time. And it's for the older people. Like I said, when I started talking about this, it's not for someone who just started shooting. It's for someone who's comfortable manipulating a gun. It's good for people who um, have a good basis of mag changes. They have a good basis of safety and awareness and getting your finger outside the trigger guard while moving and shooting and things like this. And it's a great intro class that we really recommend a lot of people to come out to. The sport's real big, it's growing. We hope to see you out there. We'll be out there um, with Most the junior definitely. pistol class. So, um, Peter, I definitely want you to talk about our new shirts. So, right now I have on this 
new shirt. It is from Gemini Custom Apparel. The website is g2gemini.com. Uh, I'll show you it in a little bit. And it's a very nice soft material. Here, hold on real quick. Let me, let me bend this camera down a little bit. It's very nice soft material. It's breathable. And it totaled to $132. And it was because of this custom logo printing right here. It, the shirt is originally $77 when you go to purchase one from the builder or from the... Um, you can pick these little sections that are for what you do. So this is the semi. This is the semi custom. Semi custom. Um, they have a a mild, and then they have a full custom classification for the uh, uh, shirts that you can buy. One of the big parts about it is why it actually ended up costing so much money, which is kind of it is what it is. They charge twenty five dollars for an artwork fee per logo. So I had to send them this logo and then the same one on the back and they had to modify it to actually go on the shirt. So it ended up being $132. We ordered it on the 1st of July and got it on the 2nd or 3rd of August. So it took just over a month to actually receive. Overall, it's a real nice thin shooting shirt. It's super hot out there. It's Florida. It's humid. Everything. They had the uh, USPSA logo already in stock in their images or whatever it is That's called. another thing to mention. Stock images are completely free. There is no fee for putting them on there. You will have you will have to pay for the custom logos once again. So this is another so, thing to put out there. Peter, why don't we switch over? We're going to go to uh, our desktop view. And then, um, no, we'll go down. We're going to go to monitor view and then minimize. Oh, there we go. Yeah, then minimize, minimize, minimize. So this is the Gemini Custom Apparel website. I'm going to adjust the mic real quick. So now we are on the website. So this is Gemini Jerseys or G2Gemini.com. And this is the last fishing page. This is actually where you can pick what you get. So this is the full custom, which is $77, and the semi custom, $22. We're going to click on full custom here just to show you what it's like. So you can pick between crew neck, v neck, zipped, polo zip, and hoodie. We did a crew neck jersey because it was the cheapest and it looked very nice. So right here we have the logo placement. Right here you will have this section called logo placement option. It's, it's all optional. You don't have to put any logos on it, but it is recommended you do because it's your custom shirt. So R1 correlates to R1 on the sleeve right here. R2 and R3 and then L3, L2 and L3, L1, L3 and 2 and L3. It's complicated. Not really. Um, so one is above your name, two is below your name, and there's a section for your name. So this is logo placement. On this long sleeve shirts is a little bit different. They're more spread out. And you can have anything you want on here, but it has to have a name. So the background design is uh, what the display on this little black part's gonna be. It's gonna show you what you have. So my design was um, Admiral. So if you see, if I type A, uh, D. Hold up. I'll just go to the stock backgrounds right here. So this is you can pick from every any any one of these stock backgrounds, and you can actually have a custom background, but we didn't do that because we thought Admiral was pretty sweet. This is what it looks like. So you just type in oh Admiral, okay. You go in here and you put in Ad. So, Admiral. This, you can choose the colors for it. If we go back on Admiral, you saw we had the black and the red and the white. The white 
is the primary color, I believe. Secondary colors are what you want the black and the red to be. So over here, you can choose from the standard colored list, like all, all of these colors. And I thought it was really neat that they had some of these colors because I thought it was going to be like, you know, pink, blue, blah, blah, blah. I never thought they'd have burgundy, navy blue, stuff like that. So, <coughs> excuse me. Overall, this is a very good color scheme, actually. So here is where you can choose your custom background. And the billing information, your name, address, phone number. Uh, additional products like, I don't know what a matching neck gaiter is, but you can get a beanie, you can get a bottle koozie, you can get a hoodie, and here's where you submit all of that. So that is Gemini Custom Apparel or G2Gemini.com. And, and one of the things I want to add real quick to that is um, they're real good with their emails. I emailed another company and it took them almost a month and a half to even respond back to me. They were, we did it July 1st, so we got an email back within a few days. I think it was the weekend that I uh, ordered it, and it was July 4th and everything, so it was pretty hectic, and they were still able to get back to me in a very reasonable amount of time. They told me that it was going to be extra for the logos, even though I tried to, tried to send them an image that worked out for me. If I was to do it again, honestly, I would go to a website called Fiverr.com, and I would submit my logo there, find someone to do it, and they do it for five, ten bucks or whatever it is. So a good piece of information for everyone is if you're going to do that, you can save yourself quite a bit of money by just doing, uh, using that website. So now we're going to move over to the production Super Saturday match that I shot when Peter was up in Atlanta visiting, visiting his aunt. So I did this match over at Wyoming Antelope Club. I actually, this was my very first classified trophy I actually got. I'm a C-class shooter, and I placed third in the C-class production. So I'm going to switch over to Wyoming well, Antelope Club. So for those of you who don't know, this is Wyoming Antelope Club's website. WyomingAntelopeClub.org. On the top right, you have results and files. These are all the different disciplines that they shoot. And here's Action Pistol. Here's WAC Production Super Saturday. Click on that. It'll download. It'll tell me I need to buy a program that I'm not going to. Boop. And this is actually how you would do it on the intro class. This is how you do it on the Tuesday matches that they put on. And this is how you would get the results for the Friday matches, Steel Challenge, everything. And it comes up almost exactly like this, depending on whatever discipline it is. So overall, we had 89 different people shooting this match. They always sell out. I definitely suggest you go to gunmatchadvisor.com. It'll list all kinds of different web, uh, different shooting events all around the states that you can narrow it down to or all over the country. They have links to some major matches on the sides. It's a great website to find the matches in your area. And then you go over to Match Sign Up. Match Sign Up has the matches on there. And especially on these, these USPSA matches, they sell out quick. So the second they go up, I would highly suggest you get in there, put in your, your information, you have to pay for it by midnight or it'll automatically remove you from the uh, move, remove you from the roster if you don't pay. So go ahead and do that. But it's good to, if you're not in a position that you want to put your credit card in or you're on an uh, open Wi-Fi or something like that and wait till you get home, you still have some time to do that. So let's go over some of the results. Number one, not really surprising, Gorka. Gorka came in hard and strong. He's shooting production now and... I got to watch a few stages, and I picked up a lot of pointers from him. 
it's always awesome to, to shoot with Gorka. And he's one of the nicest people who will talk to you. And if you ask him some questions and whatnot, and he, he will literally, literally give you all the information you need to try and beat him. You're probably not going to, but you could try. Seth, another junior shooter from Wyoming Animal Club. Great shooter, great guy. And then Matt Mitchell from uh, GTR. I was on his squad, actually, and I was picking up quite a few things from him. He's another uh, really good shooter. But that's your overall scores. Overall, I got... Where am I? There we go. Overall, I got 35th. This is my first time um, shooting classified. Usually, I used to be unclassified. We did a classifier match down in Homestead over at Homestead Training Center. Great range. Great guys out there. I, I can't talk highly enough about that range. So we got classified in production down there. Then we came back. They did another production uh, classifier. We actually shot it limited, so we got classified in limited and production at the same time. So um, that's pretty exciting because those are when you're classified is when you actually get trophies. Um, let's see. So if you look over all these different categories and stuff like this, this is everyone who can shoot the matches, but being that it was production based, that was where they basically highlighted that field. Each one of these, if you clicked on, you can see exactly where you placed and it'll rank every single person on how they shot. But Coming down here, this shows the, the juniors, shooters, talks about the seniors, all those guys. This will be your um, class leaders. And then this is where the trophies were coming from. This is your production. So good job to all these unclassified guys. I don't really know any of them. Down here in D class, we got Sal, Gianna Nugent. Uh, she's actually another junior shooter that shoots with Peter, and she'll probably be out there. Um, outstanding job for her, shooting production. That's not usually what she shoot, shoots. So she's kind of out of her comfort zone and still placed real high on that one, which is good for her. Uh, you come down here. Here's C-Class, quite a few people in C-Class. You see there's over 24 people in C-Class shooting. Uh, I'm third, Steven Pianca came in second. Mike Bell came in first, no surprise there. Uh, Mike Bell actually got something called the High Hit Factor Award for C-Class, which is a, another cool thing that they do, and I'll explain it in a second. Down here in B-Class, we got Trent. Jonathan, Lee, all great guys, all great shooters. I see them all the time over there at USPSA, uh, shooting nights over on Tuesdays and Fridays. They're always willing to help, everything like this. Lee's uh, Gianna's dad, obviously. He's another great guy, awesome for him, uh, placing first in uh, B class. Then down here we got Truck, Chuck, Irwin, Jay. Irwin's another great guy. He's real quick. Then in master class we got Seth, Bobby, and Mark. And Grandmaster, we have Gorka. So congratulations to all those guys. I know there's a lot of hard work that went in there. A lot of you guys travel real far. It's always nice to see friendly faces winning matches. So now we're going to go over the... Uh, video that we took they uh ended up leaving up four of the stages from the production match i don't think they changed them very much but peter actually came back and it was cool to have him come out there and shoot the matches i pushed it real hard i tried to do things that i went a little bit slow and caution more cautionous on when uh the match went on which got me the third place title so see what stage it is. Okay, so this is the first stage we shot at. You can see how I'm really kind of, I kind of struggled real hard with my mag changes. I was focusing on um, shot placement a little bit better this time. Stand by. 
but here goes Peter. Peter did real well. He is obviously a left-hand shooter, so he's going to usually shoot some of the stages as left-handed shooter should because it's easier to move one way as a right-handed shooter and a different way as a left-handed shooter. So it's good to see Peter back out there shooting and stuff like that. We always enjoy it going together. Peter miscounted on that one, and, and you see how he, he didn't do a mag change before he got in that position and ended up having to do a mag change while standing still. So one good thing to note, basically when you're running production, every time you move, you should be changing the mag, basically. On the top, you can actually see our scores for each one of the uh, stages. And going down, C is the class that I'm in, the C-class shooter, production. Then you have your points and your penalties, your time, and then your hit factor. Your hit factor is basically a uh, culmination of your time, how fast you can get points. So someone who shoots a stage in 10 seconds but doesn't get as good of a shot can actually be equal to someone who shoots it in a slower time with what much better shooting so it's a it's a mix in between there so you really have to learn how to which targets you want to move on which targets you want to take your time on you, you know as long as your sights are on target you can you can shoot so you don't have to be standing still so some of the shots you can actually move and shoot and you can see that clamshell real quick so peter got a 32 32 seconds on that So some of the equipment that we use on these is, uh, I'll talk about mine real quick. I run a, a Scorpion, a Black Scorpion Outdoor Gear Belt. We run Ghost Tech, or Ghost 360 magazine pouches, and I have a Comp Tech holster. Uh, I really like it. Peter runs a Blade Tech holster, left-handed obviously. He runs the same magazine uh, pouches, and he has a Shooter's Connection belt. So here Peter did real good on this one. Uh, on time wise but he pushed it a little bit too hard he got uh, 40 points in the penalty but did it in 24 seconds and uh, came out with 72 points and a 1.31 hit factor so a little iffy but still awesome job I don't know many other 12 year olds who come out there and will grab a, a, a Glock 34 and wield it around and, and, and still hit targets damn good this one actually had a, a, a jump activator a stomp activator and I tried going because this was one of our last stages of the night I tried going way too fast you see I got 50 points and penalties which is pretty atrocious honestly but I, I think, honestly, I was, I was done for the night. Just trying to go way too fast. So now I'm going to hand it back over to Peter. He's going to talk about the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit and the junior clinic that they're going to be putting on here. All right. So here you go, Peter. This is USAMU's official website as the Army Marksmanship Unit, uh, the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit, and there are these clinics that they do. So, 2016 Action Shooting Junior Clinic, 20 21st to 23rd of October, October yeah, 2016, and Fort Benning. Uh, it is a jun It's a three-day junior shooter clinic, where you get to go out and actually shoot with the pros. So let's look on some of the information about it. 
Um, I'm really excited to go if I do get accepted. You have to submit an entire form, which they will say, hey, this kid's not that bad. He has good intentions, so I guess we'll let him come. And this is there as a PDF file, so you can download it if you want. Um, and it tells you all the information about it. So the USAMU commander... And here are some of the instructions, instructors, uh, and the action shooting team accomplishments. So here. Yeah, one, of the, one of the good things about this junior shooter clinic is there's been some top level, uh, really professional guys. Uh, Max Michelle actually came out of here, and a few other guys that we we ended up following. They've uh, Shane Cooley came out of here, uh, who's part of Team Glock, and then uh, Max is part of. Uh, is the team captain of Team Sig. So that's the caliber of people that you have shooting at this, and they're offering to do this junior clinic class for completely free, which is a, a huge opportunity, especially because it's only six six hours from our house down here in Tampa. So why don't you click over to the acceptance form and show everyone that. So go back. Um, the clinics. So the Registration. registration. This is another PDF file, so you can download it if you want. I recommend that you print it out. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and write on it. Or since you have bad, if you have bad handwriting like me, you can copy all this and put it into a Word file. You have to space it out though. So first, you put your name and everything. This is just all your personal information. And there is a biography, and this is the waiver. So you fill out the biography. A brief summary of your shooting experience. My name's Peter. I've shot for four years or something. And you can can and uh, you can continue on to these questions. Like, what do you want to learn from the professionals? Uh, why do you want to be in the uh, USAMU Junior Clinic? These are questions basically on are you serious about this or do you just want to come and go away? Another one of the... Uh only requirements that they have is it's on a military base so you have to register your your guns at the front and there's a handful of different information on the the with the email addresses that you can contact them and then the second stipulation they have is you have to be a classified shooter you can't be uh unclassified and that was one of the reasons we went down to miami and did the um classifier match in homestead so this question right here, how often do you dry fire? I don't know if that affects anything, but I recommend you dry fire a lot because you don't want to look like a fool out there. I mean, and being in front of the professionals and like, oh God, I haven't shot in such a long time. It, it, it is kind of embarrassing, but I don't, this is not, I believe it does not affect anything or something I want to throw out there. Honestly, just five minutes a day is a, probably a, a, a real good uh, dry fire. We do, we do it. In the backyard, we do mag changes. We we do a, a, all kinds of different training drills. We'll do white wall drills and stuff like that. But um, if anyone really is interested in doing any kind of dry firing stuff, at five minutes a day, it doesn't hurt anything. You don't really notice it. And uh, it's one of the things that me and Peter strive to do is actually dry fire most days. So that's basically Havoc Hour. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I definitely want you guys to send us uh, some messages on either YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those fancy you know, social media networks and everything like that. Um, I really encourage you to go to our website. We have a ton of information on there for shooters. Uh, we have everything that we actually own. We have 
uh, links to where you can buy everything on there. Um, another thing that we're really pushing for right now is we're really trying to get at least 100 subscribers on YouTube. We're doing this as a family thing and everything like that. So to get the at least 100 subscribers and some people looking at our YouTube channel and this live channel would be a big deal for us. Um, another thing I want you to look at is we have some stuff coming up. So I, I was making videos today. We're starting to do some product reviews. We got some cameras and everything like that. So we're going to be doing some real in-depth uh, product reviews. And if you're subscribed to us, you can definitely check those things out. So unless Peter has anything left. Uh, check out our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, they should all be on this side of the video. And you can subscribe to the channel. It's super easy. That red subscribe button right there, you can click it. If that's it, and we'll see you guys next time at Havoc Hour. Havoc which Hour. We're going to throw up information on our uh, Facebook and YouTube of when we're going to actually do it. Now that it's school back in session, we're probably going to have to change the times a little bit. We used to do it Wednesday nights. Yesterday we're, we were going to do it, and Peter was actually getting some ears by one of the guys, uh, Joe, over at Wyoming Antelope Club. So stay tuned. Subscribe. We're going to see you guys next time. We're going to put out the information. Hope to see you then. Drop a like. Drop a like. Have the camera. What's up, fam? Drop a little like. I mean, it literally sounds like you're cracking this thing. I don't think the control shift actually would work. I was like, Chris is just going to make us look like a fool. Because, I mean, I don't know. You really figure this stuff out. I just want you for the night. And we can do live product reviews, too.